Hello, my name is Creostix, and welcome back to Vampire, where uh, after the sudden, uh, you know, uh, quit last time, we are we are we are where, where we left off in the safe house, or at least that is where the game loaded me into. The, um, and uh, I'm gonna make the blood serums here, so I have four of those and four of those. Uh, I'm puzzled by the stamina serum, basically because um, it still says I can only have two of them, and it's a little weirding me out here. Whereas, uh, was it in the inventory where I could see what serums I have going on? Here it says uh, health, blood, and again health. So I'm... I'm not sure if the game has, like, glitched the amount of serums on me or not, but, like, four should be the maximum in everything, but apparently it's a little off. But, uh, I... Anyway. <clears throat> and I have it apparently equipped as well, which is even more uh, confusing. Let's see about this. So, right, <clears throat> no, that's the health points thing, and I'll then take this point health point thing instead, but let's make one stamina serum just to see if the game, like, wakes up into the reality of what we're doing here. Ah, it does. It, it it improved the maximum the moment we made one of the serums. So, yes, it was glitched, but not in a mechanical way, only a visual numerical one. Cool. Okay. I I have a feeling I won't need the uh, serum part. Or, <laughs> the, the, the stamina part, because I... I had many issues with the boss fight, but I feel like regaining stamina was not the biggest issue. Like, it was really much about health, if anything. Okay. Now we make a beeline for her. Also, have I forgotten to... There we go. Um, yeah, and there's nothing else to do in the map, in my understanding, at least, if I remember correctly. And here we... Go. So straight up into a boss fight from the word go. Which is gonna be interesting by the very goddamn least. Okie dokie. So, if I remember correctly, there should be a possibly a couple of guards and at least rats. Yeah, here, here. So I can use the healing and then grab a rat to fill the blood, blood up again. I can't believe I'm doing this. And. The good doctor still can't believe how tasty rats are. I, I, I can, yes, yes, and un, 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 understood. Um, might as well clean up this a little bit. Hi. Uh, that's I'm that's not Christ, and neither am I. So. There you go. She wanted to like refill my blood again because I think I can just like melee him down. There you go. Oh! Hi! Pfft. Eat, eat, eat hacksaw. There you go. There's a very specific difference I do. I, 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 I'm I gonna make to the boss fight though from my items. I think I want to really utilize my ranged weapons when I get there. Or when I do the fight, especially in the later half. Oh, oh, also, can I... Oh, I can't sneak up. Hi. 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 Eat hacksaw. I prescribe hacksaw. There you go. <laughs> and you heard nothing. <laughs> cool. Fair enough. It's interesting how I don't remember in the beginning of the game the crossbow people staggering me so hard, but now they do. It's interesting. Oh well. Okay. So that's that. And now there sh there might there 
there's probably some some scowl in in the uh, cemetery, but that should be basically it. Have I killed Mary? No, I'm going to the now at least try. I I have not yet gotten around to it because I just I I just started. Uh, well, I had like I yes, I had like a ten minutes of starting soon and so on as as per usual, and then I just I I I have barely begun. I'm, I'm clearing my way to Mary and and we are going to try. <laughs> We're gonna give it a solid go. <laughs> Let's try. Yes. Last time around it didn't go so well, but this time I'm more prepared, le leveled up a little bit, and my guns are also uh, more leveled up, so it should be, at least relatively speaking, more doable. Right. I think that's probably the last enemies before the fight. Yeah, I think so. Yep, this is the boss fight. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's just get a quick. So offhand weapons. So my plan is to alternate between the two ranged weapons offhand, so I can. Like utilize both of those and of the upgrades I used used on on them. I th I think in the later half especially it might prove to be super useful. The first half isn't that bad, but then she then she goes into really AOE mode and that 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 was difficult. Okay. Uh, question. Yes, my super move is recharge. So okay, start start with super move. Then go ha hacksaw as much as I can, and I just and don't be you know queasy about utilizing the uh, the serums, which I have. Uh, blood is below and regen is up. Yeah, go. Cool. Let's do this. Let's do this. Help me, please! You killed me, brother. Hi. The issue with that cross is it makes aggravated damage, and that's it hurts so bad as well. What have you done, Kid Slayer? What have you done? You vomit blood mines. I mean, you're the one with the problem here, lady. Oh, and that's also all aggravated damage. Holy shit. That is... Wow. And I know she's at, she's at the priest, but I think I can't, uh, can't avoid that happening. But yeah, now it's just like me dodging and pressing the regen button because that 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 shout nova was all aggravated. That is bullshit. That is hard bullshit. I I'm I gotta call. Just come on now. <laughs> this is about as cheese as it gets, but I I need to cheese this fight because this fight is just like what are we doing here? It's 
okay, what is that? Like, I'm just, like, supposed to always keep enough of a distance to not get hit by that. Like, come on. I have so many issues with this boss fight. <laughs> Oh, come on now. It was cozy. Not my finest moment, but I'll take it. <laughs> it's time to bring this conversation to an end. Forever. You know I will not play this game. Calm now, Doctor. Like a rabid dog. Or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. I'll kill them all. The kind Dr. Swansea. The sweet little lass with hair of red. I am the Harbinger, bringing your punishment. Mary... Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare, no dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep. First time it took me five times to kill her, I see. I think that was I my... find a cure, Mary. I swear it. Then, at last, I can forgive you. I see. Do, do I need to press buttons? Apparently, yes. Okay. How weird. Like, if I stop pressing buttons, we just, like, we stay here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I think it was my fourth go. I, th I, I think I died three times. Uh before and now I pulled it off like three times like a couple of days ago but yeah okay so let me get this straight so she wanted me to kill her and then I was like I'm not gonna play these games don't be ridiculous and then I was like but I promise I will find a cure and stab her in the chest with the stick. What? Are we like? Did we change our mind that quickly? How? How did? But I'm. 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 I kind of missed. How did? Hmm. I. I'm so confused why we stabbed her in the chest beyond like. Uh, I mean, sure, she wanted it. Fine, and but. But like you were like, I will not, I will not stab you in the chest. I promise to find a cure. Stab. But, what? But, but, uh, I don't know. I I'm confused. Hail Mary. Hail, hail yes. Few nights later. Have we gotten lots of XP in those nights? Because I don't want to waste my time like that, game. <laughs> like, I, I have 
g- gone to great pains to not go to sleep in this game before I absolutely have done everything I can. Blood. As I shed one last red tear for my fallen sister, I realize the entire world now revolves around this singular word. The epidemic Why? that has stricken London is not the Spanish flu. It is transmitted through the blood via violent biting, turning survivors into frenzied immortals. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire, born anew into an age of death and pestilence. While plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood. So I will taste every drop of it. Om nom 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 nom. Yes. Uh, I 100% of this game killed everyone and I have had 150,000 XP. Cool. Lady Ashbury's Invitation. Dear Dr. Reed, I hope this letter will quickly find you, for I need to speak to you as soon as possible. The situation is evolving very quickly in the West End, and I'm convinced we are all now in great danger. The Guard of Priven has launched a great hunt in London, and for a few nights they have been actively searching and killing any Ekon they can locate. Lord Red... Why? Beyond, like, more than normal. Uh... Uh... Lord Redgrave, chairman of the Ascalon Club, recently contacted me. He wishes to meet you immediately. Please come to my mansion any, any night that suits you. We must discuss all of this. With this letter, you will find an official pass that will allow you to go through an, any barricade or quarantine checkpoint throughout the city. Your friend, Lady Ashbury. Right. So, like, when you... I began... I'm I'm puzzled by like how big is the card is the guard of Priven because I I think I've killed time to go to the west end the yes, SIC finally we we get to open up that area of the of the game and in there there should be a uh, the final braille note I forget where I googled it that one time but I've forgotten where but I'll we'll find it it's fine um do 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 do, do. I'm just, like, wondering about the size of the God of Priven. Like, I feel like I've killed, like, 300 of them. Like, how how many vampire hunters do they have? <laughs> it's pretty big. Well, let's, let's... Let's then tackle it, I suppose. Also, refill all if I... Yes. There you go. Thank you. Uh, do, 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 do I need to any, do anything here? I used up, like, one blood serum, but I, I'd imagine I'd be fine. And now every, uh, container is restocked again, huh? It's locked, all right. I see. Hi. I'm just gonna take it. It's locked, all right. It. Take everything. It's locked, all right. Oh, come on. How dare you lock your... I mean, I I feel singled out here. How dare you lock your containers, like, as if there was some sort of weird dude uh, uh, walking around and stealing all of the items. I... How, how dare you think that? Anyway. do 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 Right. Uh, I assume I don't really have much to discuss with. Oh wait. Actually, I do apparently. But he's not here though. Okay. Hi. Oh, there you. I. How, how, why are you, are you not at your desk? You're, this is. This is. Yes. Jonathan, old chap. How are you? Stealing tonight? all this medicine, right? I've seen little of you of late. I was conducting research in my room, away from the nightly routines. Of course, of course. Worry not. I understand. 
The situation has been testy around here. I won't deny it, but we still stand. Mm -hmm. What news? What news do you bring? The news is not good, my friend. We try to keep the epidemic at bay, but street violence is escalating quickly. I wouldn't know anything about street violence. It's not like I've killed like 300 people in the streets. It's fine. But they will all vampire hunters. It's fine. It's different somehow. <laughs> like I find it super funny that that you know sometimes it comes up that up up that like I haven't killed people uh, except for the vampire hunters in, like down that street and then down that street and then turn to the left and down that street. <laughs> oh boy. How bad is the epidemic? It is killing the infected patients faster. In less than two days now. The only blessing is that they are contagious for a shorter period. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about the violence. Jeffrey McCallum seems to have sent his war dogs on a hunt. On a nightly basis, Prewen patrols exterminate every skull and vampire they find. Have they Which is why, how is that different than before? No. They mainly focus on fallen districts or abandoned buildings. But they're growing in numbers. They must be recruiting heavily. Uh -huh. Have you any reliable friends in the West End who might assist me? Unfortunately, you will be alone. Except for our ravishing red-headed acquaintance, of course. Mm -hmm. What about the Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll? Where are they? There are only a few of us, and most others would not speak to you. I am the black sheep of our brotherly flock, you know. I see. What of my commission here at Pembroke Hospital? Nothing to fear, Jonathan. Your position here is in no jeopardy. You remain one of us, and you are always most welcome. Mm -hmm. Again, the subtitles were a little different, but fine. I have received an alarming letter from Lady Ashbury. She wants me to meet her at her house. I have been granted safe passage. Then you are twice fortunate. I have never been invited to the lady's mansion. And with the quarantine and controls, city access is nigh impossible. Mm -hmm. Is the quarantine serving any purpose? It is helping slow the propagation of the epidemic. But as long as we have no clue to its origin, its efficiency is limited. Mm -hmm. Why have you never entered the lady's house? You are one of her good friends. Although I would argue more important than the origin would be the exact methods of how it spreads, you know? So you're not. My dear Jonathan, you have no idea how reclusive the good lady normally is. Nor in what great esteem she must hold you to let you into her domain. Right. Thank you, Edgar. We shall speak again. So, later. am I guessing correctly if I think that Ashbury is the pillar of the community there? Actually, can I see that yet? No. Oh, but it's not her, though. Because this looks like a dude with glasses. So, it's, she, it's not her. She's not the pillar. Okay, cool. Fair enough. I mean, it does make sense because she did say that she does not mingle in the politics and schemes, so sure, yeah, that does ch does check out, though. Cool, cool. Has any of the patients been sent home when, since I've, I, 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 I was away? Actually, I can probably just look at that. Everyone is sick again! How can you let this happen? I have been... Jesus. Okay, I need to brew some fatigue potions, it seems. <laughs> ah! Am I the only... How, how like, it's sh surely you're... You are all doctors. Why do I need to deal with your fatigue things? Come on. Okay, I, I need a lot of fatigue potions. Like, I have five, but I think I saw, like, seven. <laughs> and what else is there in the wild? Let, let's see. 
at least I I can just see their their ailments from the menu and don't need to like find them to talk t- and talk to them and ask what's wrong, you know. <laughs> uh, do 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 these seem fine. No one in the docks is sick. That's pretty good. <laughs> cool. No one is sick in the docks. Awesome. And n- neither in Whitechapel, at least as far as I know. Like, unless these, like, you know, refresh when I get there or s- some something, but it se- seems good. But yeah, lots of fatigue potions. Okay, also, how come are these two still here? Like, shouldn't they be sent home if they don't have, like, the, the flu, you know? Like, because... Uh, sorry, I, I, I mean, like... The ailment the dude had seemed like a thing that should s- start clearing up on its own because it was like mechanical damage, right? And uh, unless they've contracted the flu while they were here, then why are they still here? That's my point. Okay, Thelma's good. Rakeshi is outside, I believe, so I uh, I'll need to. Do, 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 do. Acroid. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Eat fatigue potion. Oh, okay. Do you think Dr. Strickland has any chance of curing the Spanish flu by himself? His wish to cure the sick is not driven by pride, but by an idealistic view about our mission here. Honestly, I don't know which is worse. You consider him a good practitioner. Yet you will not report his methods. Strickland may be a rival, but I will not use dirty tricks or regulations to prove him wrong. We are doctors, not politicians. Fair enough. Um... <laughs> right. Do you need my assistance? Don't be ridiculous. I'm capable of dealing with this myself. I've just not taken the time to do so. Oh, come on. Take the fatigue potion. Then you are lucky that I have taken the time to do so. Consider it a gesture of solidarity between professionals. I wish this hospital could have received as much attention from you, Dr. Reed. We do not see you in surgery very often. I cured every patient! The ge- If the game skips a couple of nights, that's- you, you can't put that on me, man. <laughs> I cured every patient. Every one of them. I went to hell and high water to find all of the the things, even for the dude who outside was like in the, like next to the river, just standing around and had a headache. I even cured him. So don't give me. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Ah. We'll talk later. Hi. Good evening, doctor. How is my son doing? Fine, I'm sure. Oh. See, here's the thing. I kind of promised to the. No, 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 no. Wait. the The mother does know. Does absolutely does know that the kid tried to commit suicide, though. So that that's all good. The suicide note I might not mention because that would uh, betray the trust of the boy, I think. But the other one should be fine, right? Not dying. Uh, be- before I do that. Do you require medical attention as well, Mrs. Goswick? Do you know you're the only one who's asked me this? No. I don't feel well actually. I asked Do you require medical attention? And you said, no, I don't feel well. (laughs) Oh well, details. Despite what you think about this place, I can tell you with absolute certainty, taking this will help you recover. Well, at least your reputation seems well deserved. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for this hospital. Right. Okay. I've read your son's medical report, Beatrice. It's not the flu or anything life-threatening. What has you so worried? He was at death's door when he was brought here. I just want him to be better as soon as possible. He's not out of the woods yet, you know. 
He might need to stay here longer than expected. Take care of him then, Dr. Reed. People here only seem to focus on contagious patients. I worry my poor Mortimer will be neglected. Her point is well made, though, like in a, in the current times, do like the the big like side you no know, concern is that then other medicine might gets like too clogged up or might get ne neglected because of the current you know situation in the world, or that people don't uh, seek medical attention for for other stuff when they're worried about the current s stuff. Okay, so I, I don't, I don't think talking about the suicide note is good because I have failed hints before, once, twice, a couple of times at least by give by, by bringing up a thing. Although it might have been a quest choice and not a blue one, but still, but the other ones should because she does know that that it was a suicide attempt. Your son wished to die, Beatrice. Why did you hide such crucial information? Are you not aware suicide is a crime? I'm not. Mortimer I did not remember. Jail. I can't let that happen. I won't. I, I did not. You fear yeah, the legal okay. consequences, Mrs. Goswick. Ah. Uh... But don't you realize your silence significantly affects your son's case? All my son needs is help and comprehension. Not judgment and punishment for what he may or may not have done. That's all fair, but that's not. You're dodging what I said. But yes, I did not. I didn't realize that in 1918 it was a crime, by or a crime to. Right. Mortimer is extremely vague as to his motivations for committing suicide. Attempting Tell me more to. About what you know. As you say, Mortimer had no reason to die. All he said to me was that he wanted to make the world a better place, but couldn't. Mm -hmm. What do you think he meant by making the world a better place? Mortimer has always been a sensitive soul. He wouldn't talk to anyone for months after his father passed. Hmm. It's like he carries everyone's sadness with him. I see. Why did your son feel so useless when facing the world? I think it was more that he could only see the melancholy facets of life. Hmm. He couldn't help but dwell on such things. Uh, again, this, but this one should be, yeah. Do you realize your son could try to kill himself again? He might succeed next time. I think about it every minute. But I won't stop fighting for my son's future. That's how much I love him. I mean, considering the fact that the son is still alive, surely we should go for the positive option, right? Like in that, you're in denial, it doesn't fit what she said. I mean, she said that she... Kn Hi! How... I'm... Uh... You... And... I... Uh, you, you're a wonderful full human for, for feeling that you're... That... That... Uh, that... That... M m my stream is worth your time. Yes. Uh... In, instead, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm. I'm always struggling to answer the question, "How am I?" But let's go. I, I, I think I've settled on day by day, hanging in there, and that's basically the long and short, short of it. Like, yes. <laughs> and I then try to, you know, uh, help help the day go by by doing a hobby, which is this apparently. So, yes. How is your day? I hope you're just been good, and welcome. But yes, I think he's lucky to have you is the best option because preparing for the worst is like he's still alive there and we might, you know, turn him around and so on on the notions, you know. This doesn't seem fitting because she did literally say that she thinks about it every minute that her son might do that again. So this is the only one that makes any sense to me. You're right. Your son's death was not fatal. And unlike many on their own, he is lucky to have you by his side. <laughs> I can't give up on him. I just can't. I have conceded many times in my life, but giving up on my son is something I am incapable of. Right. Uh, how are you presently at this very precise moment in time is probably the better question. <laughs> well, you know, I... 
I, I, I would be lying if I said I was good, but I'm trying. Let's put it that like that like that's that that's the like I I I feel like I I don't want to dwell on on yes. <laughs> But it's okay to ask, though. It's like I just I'm still struggling to find the the good good answer to that, you know. <laughs> uh, right. So again, the suicide note thing. I I'm worried that that's gonna fail a. But if I've on, hmm, give me a second. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. So you don't have an ailment as such, right? Good evening, Mitch. I'm okay. Yeah, I, 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 I've already unlocked all of, all of his. So it's probably fine. Because surely, a, a, like an unlocked hint won't fail again. I don't. Hmm. Your mother won't let you down. Trying is a good thing. We like trying. Don't you yes. share her hope for a better future? No. I don't. Won't you even try? Do you want me to promise you I'll get better? Do you want me to tell her the same thing? I could, but it would not change anything. Hmm. I'm good. I have my sister visiting for a few days, chilling here before she gets up teen teenagers. Emma. Aha. <laughs> Well, I mean, I can't judge because I have literally been been rolling my sleeping rhythm over so that I'm now at the point that I wake up so extremely late that I'm actually early, sort of. Today I woke up at 3 something something a.m. Just because I've been pushing my sleep rhythm forward, 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 like a cup, like in, in, in like a couple of hour increments, you know? <laughs> So, I I I can't judge who who people who uh, s sleep in weird times. Yes. Your medical report says you're not affected by the. But I'm glad you're good. What do you think of that, Mortimer? Does it make me happy? Not in the slightest. If it was up to me, I would have left this place long ago. I know I don't belong here. And why do you think you don't belong here? I know the staff have more important things to do than look after me. There's plenty of patients here who need their attention. Hmm. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. I'm still worried enough that I don't feel like I should talk to her. Like, it sh like game mechanically, it shouldn't make a difference. But the game has bit me in the ass before for for a uh, you know just like tr trying a dialogue option. Then it's just I don't know. I I can't manually save and load, so I'm gonna just let that be. Uh, fatigue. Hi. Hi. Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Sleep schedule is all over the place. Operation. Shift work, yeah, not for me either. I've I've actually tr I've tried to do shift work in in three shifts, uh, in so it's like you, you know the morning and the evening and the night. I did that in in like an aluminium f factory many years ago. After about a month, my like literally my intestines gave out. Like I my body could not do that. It 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 just couldn't do that, and I had to just like listen. I it it it's just not happening, man. Right. Is there anything else that's bothering you? Can I help in any way? Really? Why has no one else asked me that since I got here? I thought I was in a hospital. Wait, your hand still isn't fixed after a number of days. How is that a thing? Unfortunately, you are not the only person who needs help. And complaining about it won't do you any good. Well, perhaps you're right, Dr. Reed. I'm sure if me missus was still alive, she wouldn't be happy with me going on like this. Right. Okay, he's fine again. Goodbye for now, Mr. Or at least recovering. I'll see you later. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hi. 
Would you care to? Uh, well. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. Chris loves shifts. They're not for me like my seven to three office job to. Yeah, that, 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 that would sound pretty good. Actually, what do you sell Please these days? Show me what you have to sell. Because it's been, been a couple of nights. It's just... Uh, basic stuff. Opium, codeine, so on. I'm gonna, okay. Good evening, doc. Hi. Do you need medical? Well, the proximity of the dead is not the most healthy company. Even if the quiet can be appreciated. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. Don't take too many risks with your health, Mr. Chidana. None of us are immune to this disease. And that is a good thing. Death and disease is a constant reminder of our mortality. But you have my thanks, Dr. Reed. Cool. Goodbye, Mr. Chidana. Mr. Chidana. Uh, anyone else? There was a couple of more. Uh, there's the Elwood, which I believe I know where that is. I hope Clay hasn't moved around since the last time I saw him, because he's he could turn out to be a tricky to, to find. Gwyneth and Milton. And, okay, cool. So ba -ba -da 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 -ba back here. In here. Through here. And here. Hi. Hi. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. I'm not expecting to be a lot of new stuff, but... Soldier, do you need assistance? Not Soldier. Really. I think you caught something in this bloody hospital. I swear I'm dead, yet smiling inside, Dr. Reed. Mm -hmm. As long as you remain here, I will make sure you don't have to worry about your health. Don't think you can do much about it. Damage is done. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Sodium hypochlorite. Cool. Uh, the other one was... Um, the nurse tends to be around here. And Milton is... Oh, oh, oh. Hi. 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 Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Hi. Uh, anything to... Cool. Do you require medical assistance, nurse? I will be fine. As soon as I can get some sleep. Nurse, you won't be able to help people if you're sick. Take this, and do try to get some rest. I'll try, Dr. Reed. Thank you. Yay! Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Okie dokie. Uh, Clay. Oh, Milton as well. Milton! Where is he? Milton is usually e either at this wall or next to that truck over here. Should I worry? Oh, Clay, that's that's also How Is come this supposed to be an hospital? A pig star would smell better. Cool. How come is is like the Is that your your armchair? <laughs> uh. Crumpled letter. I'm tired of your shit, Clay. What the F did you do? All the bloody docs are gossiping about how my husband has just got that stupid kid. How many times did I tell you to count to 20 before drawing your blade? How can we expect to do proper business and have people the bay if you keep on killing everyone who dares cross you? Now rumors say some blokes from the dad's family are looking for you, and one of them even swore to kill you. Don't come home tonight. I've seen strange men patrolling the streets. They may be some commie militia or something like that sent to arrest you. Go to a safe place for a few days. Maybe go to the hospital or Whitechapel. Make yourself useful for once by checking if any business could be settled over there. When the situation is calmer, I'll send a wet boot boy so that you know to come back, Edwina. Right. 
Hey, Doc. Hey. You're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting to take better care of yourself. This place is full of sickness and decay. How could I get better in such a dump? Hmm. Consider yourself lucky that I'm treating all of my patients equally. But don't push your luck. Don't play the innocent with me. I'm sure you have good reasons to act this way. And also weaknesses that can be exploited. Right. Am I right to assume your wife's letter pissed you off, Clay? Hmm. I was so mad I threw away the knife she got me when we got married. Your wife gave you a knife as a wedding present. That knife has always been my lucky charm. If I'd had it in my hand when I got stabbed on that pier, I'd not have been wounded. Right. A lucky charm. I never would have taken you as the superstitious type. We all have our flaws, Doc. Mine's to have my weapon of choice for when the really dirty business comes around. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what can you tell me about your marriage, Clay? Marriage is the sweetest cage, they say. Well, I found myself locked in one with a wild animal. You mean your wife keeps you on your toes? No, I mean, we both have claws and we both love to bite. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all I'll of leave him for now, uh, Mr. Cox. Is this supposed to be an hospital? A pig starving to smell better. Okay, uh, Milton. Why would he su be super far away is my is what I'm wondering. Oh, hi. Where were you, man? We have no effective treatment. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Something along those lines. Oh, I'd like to see actually, your sure, 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 I can check. Uh, good handle is actually, I do need those, but I'm wondering if I will start getting them as drops anyway in West End now. So I'll wait on buying them for now, just to be safe. All right. So, instead of it... Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Do you need any medical help, Milton? I'm afraid I do. Like everyone in this hospital. It's a sad state of affairs when even the hospital workers are worried about disease. Honestly, not as such. More like, you know, hospital workers should be worried about disease in the sense that they do their work as safely as they can. Isn't that like a good thing? Our Probably. job brings us into contact with all kinds of infections, Milton. There's no shame in being ill while you're in a hospital. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. I get the feeling you don't fall sick often. But thanks, anyway. Why would you get the feeling that I don't get sick often? I literally look like I'm dead. Like, my face is full of veins that are like, just like veins on top of veins. And my eyes are basically like, just some sort of deathly hazel that just doesn't work and you look at this face like he looks at this face and it's like i get the feeling you don't get sick too often doctor and i'm like have have you actually looked at the the my like what how like i literally look like i'm dead like that, that uh, uh. And like, like, I feel that the doctor looks like he he has like all of the sicknesses combined, with the or, or like at least in the paleness and the veins can like sense, you know. Goodbye, Milton. Cool. So that should be them all, all right? Yes. He is beauty, he is great. He's a good-looking dude, that's true. But he also looks like his, like, again, his face is like, you know, blood vein city. You know, it's just like, vroom. <laughs> like, he looks, he looks like a pretty man, I'm sure. But he also looks pale to a degree of, like, excuse me. And, like, the, the weird veins and everything and the weird eyes, like, this, like, he... 
He doesn't look healthy. Pretty? Yes. Healthy? No. <laughs> uh, right. So, West End, here we go. Uh, in this direction, yes. I'm I'm wondering what is this here? Like it's it's like a separate building that's vaguely but not quite connected to the hospital because it's not like uh and it has like a reception desk and everything, but just no people in it. Like this this spot puzzles me. Like what why is this here? Well like what's the purpose of it? Like sure hmm. Oh well. He has punched death in the face. Yes, that is true. Marshall, once you start ending a lot more of the important NPCs that look... Once you start ending a lot more of the important NPCs that look gets real intense and no one as far as i remember ever takes notice yes that th there's a lot of like these these funny little inconsistencies and in how like the lore works and how the game works and how the people work where you can just like oh hi like 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 you know i i i'll i'll never you know have it not be funny that like we have these scenes every once in a while where where you know People just were like, uh, say, Swansea might tell us that you're, you've, I, I see you have, you, you have been, you know, uh, not been indulging on your thirst. And I'm like, yes, I have only killed 350 vampire hunters. <laughs> it's fine. Hi. That is unlucky. I... <laughs> Come on now. Excuse me? I dodged that. I'm just gonna... I, 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 I would like to be... Just inform you that I dodged that. I'm just... Just, just so we're clear on this. Hi. Listen. You're in the wrong movie. This is like the 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 werewolf in London is a different thing, okay? Oh wow. Okay, let's do it the hard way then. Eat steak, and I'll eat steak as in your face. There you go. Observation skill in my NPCs? Never. <laughs> But like, yeah, how it's it's like the game is like, and and I haven't killed anyone except for the five vampire hunters down that street, and then down that street, and then if you turn a right, there's five others on that street, and then I ate the six vampire hunters behind them in next to the trash can, and then if you take a take a left and a couple of steps forward, and then there's another group of vampire hunters I killed, and so <laughs> you're like, I haven't, I have, I, I have lived a pious life of killing no humans, and I'm like, hmm, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he doesn't literally say I've killed no humans, but it's, it's basically like that's what it's sort of. 
it 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 doesn't quite fit. <laughs> also, oh right. Okie dokie. And while we're we're at it, you know the uh, the you know the skull faced Hampton. At least the newspaper said that he had contracted some disease, but still. Hi. Hi. Have you heard of the abyss? Yes. I am a doctor and I prescribe a hacksaw. One, two, three, four. There you go. Four hits of the hacksaw is the, the doctor's orders. Yes. Yeah, I just get good trigger parts from the enemies now. So I, I, I would assume it's going to be the same thing for... Uh, for uh, the... Oh, I actually don't need to go that far into that direction yet, though. I can just worry about them, them, them later. Because killing the enemies is like you—you you, you get XP from from them, but very little. So, I'm, so if I need to level up again, I might do a thing, thing, thing in the common handle part, right? Uh, I might uh, then, you know, scour the map again and kill all the en enemies again. But uh, that's that's then. Okay. West end. Here we come. Also, Marshall, I hope your day has been good and welcome. Oh, it's the it's it's the moose man. Hi. Or the deer person. You must prepare, child, for the earth is bleeding and the harvest is upon us. Okay. Stay away. Whoever you are. This is no time for petty quarrels, my champion. Can you not hear? The famished queen has awoken. Okay, okay. I take issue with this uh, person. I'm because see, uh, like I take issue because I'm under the understanding that he has created me. I will we'll see if that's the but but that but that's like the the working understanding we're under. In any case, he refers to, to me as my champion, and he apparently wants me to do, to do something. I feel if he has a, an urgent thing to tell me to do, that is not the time to be all Shakespeare play about this. Well, I'm at work since 6.30, so that's three hours now, but it could be worse. I see. Well, that, I mean, I mean, I hope workday goes, goes, goes well then. As well as can go, you know? But, uh, yeah. So, like... Uh... Like, let's say, uh... That's not the time to, like, go all Shakespearean, uh, just mysteri mysterious language on me. Like, he has something he wants me to do, and he goes on about, like, Can't you not hear? The Queen of Famished Hamblin Plemblem has woken up, and now is the time of the understanding, and the, and, the, and the dark time of the bleeding earth and the harvest is upon us. And if he takes the time to appear to me with, you know, he wants me to do a thing, then tell me what the thing is. Like, I understand that it's trying to, like, create a scene of, like, you know, uh, an 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 artistic ep like like a big like scene, but this this kind of words and like this sort of dialogue doesn't serve a purpose. He has a thing he wants me to do. He takes the time to contact me with it, and then just, and then just like splouts these nonsense words of nonsense instead of telling me what he needs from me. This is doesn't fit into any character. I like talk pretty when the time is to talk pretty, but he's talking nonsense and not telling me what to do, you know? Not the best bit of this game, but it also feels like it was a means to be a bigger part, but in the end it feels like it was a side note. Yeah, sure.
Not the number one thing I remember when thinking of. Yeah, I, I, I also forgot about this dude. In between streams, I was like, "Oh, him," and I, and I still don't like him because his appearances make no sense. Like it's it, like these these dialogue scenes feel like video game dialogue t talking of the artistic schmartistic type from like 2002. Like I, he doesn't feel like a character doing a thing. He's, he's just like. And I am the vision that comes to you and talks to you about how the blood of the earth is and the harvest is coming. Get ready, my child. Come on now, tell me what you want. Because you want to tell me what I want. Like, he wants to tell me what I want and he just doesn't... He, like, it doesn't fit his motivations. I hate this. Or, I, I, I don't like this. Go away. I am not your champion. I assist you big Whatever. I am not your champion. But of course you are, son. As surely as you are the blood of my blood. For the purpose... I killed Mary! I have known your pain, child. Do not succumb to me. Silence! I dismiss you, now! The land calls for a champion. All and everyone needs you. What is the problem? Silence! It's dangerous to go alone take this. What is your deal, man? <laughs> yeah, what, just tell me weird dirt devil, yeah. It, it's, I, I so am not a fan of that plotline. It just doesn't go, it, it just does, like, ah. Like, the good way to do that would be to literally just in, in the, in the actual terms, tell me, like, this thing is a thing, this thing is a thing, this thing is a thing, but maybe they're named something so odd that it doesn't yet make sense to me. But that's just, like, that, that's that, 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 that's just nonsense words, is, is what he's doing. Like, it just, mm. Like, say, um... Uh, like, this this game has the word for Ekon, right? Which is the vampire, basically. And the word for Skal, which is a ghoul, and so on. There's y You could make it somehow that he would tell me his problem in words that I don't yet understand. Be it English weird words, or maybe he speaks a different language altogether, and I, t I don't get what he's trying to tell me. But don't go all like, and then... This thing here is the thing that moves a white pointy element in the liquid crystallized displays of the world. And then you see the, the world calls for a champion to help rekindle the fire of being able to keep the cycle going and i'm like okay just fucking tell me go to the store and buy a mouse not whatever that fucking thing is like you want to tell me then to go to the store and buy a mouse you don't want to confuse me with her but no tell me what you you ah uh. <laughs> I'm I'm upset. Ah. <laughs> uh. Latin. Latin would work. Sure. Why not? Or maybe we could cross this over into Lovecraft and go deep one language or something. But do uh, like something. Not whatever that is. Okay, uh, yeah, I've emptied that, that courtyard before, Not, nothing special in there, so let's just go through the, this instead. Hi. Uh, do you want me to... They want war. I'll show them war. Whatever this poor woman did, nobody deserves this kind of punishment. Is this coming from me who ha I, I I believe I've staked like a couple of hundred people? But yeah, sure, yes. I'm 
agree, but I don't quite understand what's going on yet. So, mm. in that, like, again, everything that the doctor says, I mirror into the notion of, of that was a brilliant description of a mouse. <laughs> but like, I'm just like, I, I just, uh, I. It's it's so annoying to listen to and it doesn't fit the character at all because he wants me to do something and it's just like do 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 do. But like yeah, every single thing that Dr. Reed says, I can't help but feel a, uh, you know, mirror into the fact that I've killed hundreds of people in the Vampire Hunters, so So I assume he's just going to kill that dude as well and I don't I don't need to bother about this. Because he seems quite not taking damage. Don't, don't, don't mind me. I'm I'm just out for a stroll. Yes. Hi. Nah, it's, I barely said hi. Well, eat the abyss then. Did I punch your face literally into the pavement? Because that's what it looks like. Ow. <laughs> no. Oh god! <laughs> Vampire <laughs> describes much. Oh, oh, sweet Jesus! <laughs> Thank you for clipping that. <laughs> oh damn! <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Uh, I I sometimes forget I'm doing this in front of a lot in 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 front of the actual internet, <laughs> and, that, and that can happen. <laughs> oh boy, Th thank you. I uh, I'll I, I will super check that uh, in af af after I've done today. <laughs> oh Jesus. Uh, right. Uh, uh, but like, who was the like? He was a vampire. Yes. No. Why would? Why did he attack me? I, I I thought it would be like a plot line with him or something, and then he's just like dead. I'm like, oh. Well, I mean, he had a story. He got stabbed by by me in the face, and he's dead. So end of his story. Chap chapter one. He walked in the streets, and then. Dr. Reed stabbed him in the face and he's dead at the end. Oh. Ah, well. So this is where she lives. Clip Ninja Strikes Again. Yep. House. This is a true story. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. do, do. I still want to know who your barber is in 1918, man. Come on. As good as one can be, considering the circumstances. Yes. Death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late. Please, come in. We have much to discuss. I see. I hope I haven't disturbed you. She invited us. Not at all. Actually, I was counting on you visiting me tonight. Right. How strange, this painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. Indeed. A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him. But I kept it in the end. 
I nice. did not know you were a painter, my lady. There are many things you do not know about me, young and I mean, she has had time, you know, to be a lot of stuff, probably, so... Honestly, let's let's just ask the straight up question because this is this this, is, this seems honestly the the most rational. Why do you continue to mock me? Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when uneasy. What is bothering you, my lady? Your letter was quite alarming. We will talk about this in a few minutes. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. How have you been since we last met, my friend? Uh, I killed my sister for the second time. This time with basically two portals into the abyss. About, yay, 35 hacksaw hits into the, like, you know, the shoulder blade area. Uh, and a really big wooden stake through the, the, the midsection. Which was... I'm still very confused about that. Like, like we literally. She has, she has good, really pr pretty eyes. It's, it is true. I, I'm so, I'm, I'm very confused about like how. Like, we had a boss fight against our vampire s sister, who had been. In the intro of the game, we uh, woke up as a vampire with no understanding of anything. We accidentally killed our sister via the hunger bite. <laughs> and then, later on it turned out that the sister became a vampire, even though, according to, 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 to this Ashbury here, vampires can only be created via drinking my vampire blood, not not just by biting, so... I, I, mm -hmm. um, a, a, anyway... She became. She came back a vampire. Was angry. She d demanded combat, and then we combated. And after I won, she was. She she just like handed me this, this huge wooden stake, a, a, a part of a holy cross, or you know, just like, D do it now, end it. And first, and and Jonathan is is like, don't be ridiculous, and throws it away. And then they talk, and then she says stuff like. Uh, but I, I will kill everyone you know. I do. I will always hunt, hunt, ha haunt you. And Jonathan is basically, uh, just like, Mary, listen. I promise that I will find a cure. And then stabs her in, in the, with the stake. And I'm like, wait, what? Did, did we not establish we would not do that? And, and, and now you. I will not stab you with this st st stake. <laughs> Are we in opposite world? Is is this how it works? I I'm I'm so confused about the story. Okie dokie. Mary was the murderous vampire. My sister Mary. She was made a vampire in the same way I was. She was the one killing all those people everywhere I went. Vengeance is a powerful force for those betrayed. Made vampire through careless error. Victims. Who made her a vampire? She didn't drink my blood. How did she become a I, How? 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 I swear I did not intend that. If only I had known then how vampires are created. That is the scientist speaking. In truth, most of us do not know how it really works. Personally, I make sure my prey will not return to haunt me. <laughs> what do you mean? I am merciless, Jonathan. I only feed on the dying, and I make sure they are dead before leaving their remains. One more go, because I, I just don't want to miss anything here. That. that is the scientist speaking. In truth... What do you mean? I am merciless, Jonathan. Right, but she literally told us that vampire are vampires are not not created just via biting them. That vampires are created via drinking the vampire blood. Unless someone comes up that created Mary, she should not be a vamp. I I didn't like op. <sighs> 
Hold on. I'm gonna just because I just, just I have to recheck the scene right quick because I I gotta look like how like did we do like mouth to mouth or what? Like was my mouth bleeding? How how did? Because the Mary subplot doesn't make any sense to me. Like it's a cool twist that she's a vampire, but it doesn't make sense how she is one. Yeah, a lot about the subplot that I didn't think through much at the time. Yeah, I I, I just give give me a literally a couple of hot seconds. I'll just because I can probably turn into the there. So, right. I'm now looking at the scene where we, where we meet Mary, right? We're like, what? She has lots of veins and a heart. And then they hug. And... And then they hug a little longer. And... Thinking, 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 thinking. He bites. She falls over in three, two... One, there. Like, because I was I was expecting there to be some sort of a question in Jonathan, like how did he become? How did she become one? But now here, Jonathan is saying that I didn't know how vampires were created. So, I I if only I had known how. It could happen, so I could avoid it. But she never drank any of my blood. I'm literally looking at the scene. She falls over. We do like a... Yeah. R remember intro beat to beat. Bites neck, runs away. L yeah, like they just... He, he holds her a little bit, but n nothing about... And yeah, and runs away. I'm... that doesn't... In the end, she implored me to put an end to her misery. But still, I felt I had taken her life twice. I am so sorry for my accidental cruelty. Had I known <clears throat> your dear Mary was still alive, I would never have sent you to pray for her soul in that church. There is no need to apologize, my lady. Your words have been most helpful in these difficult times. Thank you, my <clears throat> friend. If only we could have guided your poor sister through her terrible nightmare. Hmm. Also, at that time, he had no idea he even was a vampire or that such things exist. Yeah, like, like, I, I mean... Yes, that is also a, a fact, but even more importantly... Uh, Like it's it, it's it seems this storyline was written to an intro that wasn't yet done, and then the intro was an, was like animated later, and the people who were animating the intro weren't told that something had, needs to happen with the blood to make this work. Like unless something still comes up, which apparently it doesn't, then it doesn't work. Like, it literally should, the, the, like, the storyline just, like, has a huge hole that just does, like, it, like, it's the equivalent of, of, like, I am now here, and I am now at the grocery store, and I'm like, well, how did it get there? Well, I am now at the grocery store, yeah, but it's 10 miles away, but how did it get here? I'm not at the grocery store, yeah, but, yeah, but how did you get here? I, <laughs> and I can't move either, I, I, like, what, how, why? Also, thank you again for the n nom clip. <laughs> Jesus. I came to the conclusion that my maker, whoever he might be, must be a powerful vampire. Uh, it it him guilting himself against reason here is a human thing. So in so in far, so in so far it does make sense. But still, yes, like, but that's kind of similar types of of how, how can I put this? Similar types of not um, addressing events keep on taking place. Another one that's that's that springs to mind is the, is the subplot with with Hampton and the 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 uh, the old lady, the Hannah something something, the 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 old lady who was at the hospital in bed, right? 
there's so many questions the game just like doesn't even feel like asking or vaguely like alluding to asking or like like when that subplot line was done that we've right uh, you remember the storyline with with Hampton who becomes a scowl right or who becomes or turns out to be a scowl and then the old lady who also becomes or turns out to be a scowl right in the hospital and then you find the old lady in the sewers with the other scowl and Hampton yeah explain to me which one was the scowl f that turned the other one Wh what the fuck happened in that room and wh why why what was the point and if one of them was not scowl yet do scowl or do, do do does either one of the two have the ability to shapeshift into human form again? Because that's apparently what it is, but no one asks asks any asks any questions about this. Like it's it's written in a way where it seems like both Hampton and the old lady both became Scal in that instant or something. But then the room is filled with blood and stuff and stuff, and they. They never address any of, like, what happened in that room. Like, they just, like, oh, I brought her here. And I'm like, yeah, but what happened? I brought her here. Uh, a scowl is, like, a, like a ghoul. A, 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 a person tainted by lesser vampire blood and becomes a... Basically zombies, but uh, sometimes they're sentient as well. Like, unless something again comes up that explains what happened in that room, that plotline has just, like... It it seems like it's written in a way that in both perspectives, the other one turned the other one. But why is the room filled with blood, like, up to up to our ears? Like, what... what why? Why... what was the... Because if any of the two were a scal before then they would have the ability to shapeshift into human form to not look like a scowl before. And that's not a thing in this game so far. I'm, I was like... Yeah, I'm not really sure of any of that, and I don't think they're mentioned much again after that quest. Yeah. And I... But that's like my, my peeve here, like... That's the, the same kind of writing that happens with the Mary quest line. Like, we just have these huge, massive holes of like, yeah, but you didn't address any of what happened and why and how. Vampy zombies, yes. Yes, ba basically yes. Like, if, you, if, you've seen, if you've seen Blade 2, you know, those, those sorts of things are pretty close. <laughs> Certainly extremely. I, 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 I have such issues with how the plotline writing is going in, in, in this. Like, it just doesn't fit together, like, it's a whole, and you're like, why have you, have you, like... Like, it's sometimes so disjointed that it doesn't actually fit into a narrative from A to B. It's so odd. It's just like... Huh. I, again, like, I paid attention in that, in that, uh in that scene about the old lady and Hampton. And I'm convinced it was written in a way that both parties were changed in that same instant. And it sort of kind of seems to change by each other, which is even more confusing. And, again, if either one of the two was a, was a ghoul, a scal, vampy zombie before, they looked human. And scowls don't have the ability to shapeshift into human form. That's not the thing. Like that plotline just doesn't doesn't work. It's it's just I haven't seen Blade in years. Me neither. But I I I remember Blade one and two pretty well. So three is a little hazy on me. But beyond but sure, <laughs> he seemed timeless. I mean, he appeared to me in blood. It doesn't matter if he's time. I felt this power radiating. Like I have like such issues with time so appeared. much. It's, Most it's, ancestral it's... vampires of England were killed by the guard of Prewen half a century ago. 
I wonder who your maker could be. You have no idea who he could be? Yeah, Some I think that's probably how it goes, yeah. Some may still be in hiding. All I know is you, my friend, are a pawn in some secret and obscure game of chess. Uh, it, it, it seems like they've, they've had a bunch of people working on different aspects and put it together without checking continuity. That, that, that seems plausible. And even more plausible because it has to be the case. Like, this is made by, by uh, Don't Nod Studios. The people who made Life is Strange 1 and 2 and Remember Me. But especially Life is Strange 1 and 2. And I don't remember... I, I, I don't remember, like, stories about, like... Uh, like who worked on what parts of in what but but I am absolutely convinced that the same people who wrote and more importantly proofread Life in Strange did not write this game not because of the quality of the writing but because of the quality of the grammar this game is written with grammar so poor that it's that it's just 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 defies belief and Life is Strange has no grammatical errors, in my experience, basically anywhere. It's amazing. Like, the lore notes in this game, basically every, every lore note has a grievous grammar error somewhere in there, ranging from missing a letter, missing a word, missing a plural, and sometimes just a, a sentence structure that just... You look at it and you're like, are you drawing a Mickey Mouse? Because that's not a sentence. And then it's just like, it's it, and, it, and it's everywhere in every lore note, basically. There might be a lore note here and there, there that's, that, that's fine, but in most of them there's at least one really bad one. It's so weird. Like, especially from this studio who made Life is Strange. Ergo, I'm convinced that, that this is a, like a different split of the studio working on this while Life is Strange was a different part of people because they cannot be written by the same or proofread by the same same people. It's it's it, it's it's just I can't see that being the case. Is the only immortal I've seen appear I can give you a, give you an example. G give me a second. His voice his words seemed ancient. When I get to my own. It was disturbing. I am afraid you are right. The simple fact that your blood made Mary such a strong echo. My blood didn't make Mary. <laughs> must be of ancient lineage. My blood didn't make Mary anything. I didn't give her my. <clears throat> like they're they're referencing things that didn't happen. I think I should ask the questions, Your Ladyship. After all, it was you who invited me to settle this most urgent of matters. Fair enough, Jonathan. The situation is critical. We do not have the luxury for etiquette. Please do not misunderstand me. I would be delighted... Although, I enjoy playing this game still, though. I just... When I have an issue, I... I, I voice the issue, okay? <laughs> ...to discuss mundane matters and idle trivialities. If we survive the dark nights to come, we shall have all the time in the world to speak, you and I. For now, please follow me, Jonathan. Uh-huh. I must say, your house is exquisite. One of the advantages of living forever is having the time to be selective with one's furnishings. I took the liberty of having tea served. You can still drink tea. Can't keep it down. But I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast to make believe. And of course, to your health, Jonathan. And to yours, my lady. Hmm. Please, call me Elizabeth. So, my lady, why truly did you invite me here? I've been asked to deliver an official invitation to meet the Ascalon Club. Why use you? Why use you to contact me? Because they know we are close. The Ascalon Club has many spies. Their main occupation is gathering information and then deciding how to use it. Have they threatened you in any way? Not at all. Their message surprised me at first, but it is only logical, considering the critical situation in London. 
Right. Why not ask for your help? Since you are obviously a powerful and influential immortal yourself. You have to understand that I am invisible to the eyes of Ascalon, for I am a woman. That suits me well, as long as they leave me alone. What? <laughs> My my brain hurts for for even like like gr like ta gr grasping the notion of okay we are immortal super powerful vampires but no women do think what how does Considering the fact that vampires have the power to, for example, open the abyss to, to wherever below the victim and do the, 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 the abyss tentacle strike and all... How do... at what... why would it matter... To... Ah, head hurts. What a weird, weird organization. That, that doesn't... Uh. Oh boy. Should I trust them? Of course not. Do not misunderstand me. They can be very useful. But I believe their long-term goals differ from yours. You don't say. Should I lie to them? Should I lie to them? We all lie, Jonathan. It falls to you to choose your behavior. That's not the, the most important rule is to show them due respect. Mm -hmm. But like you didn't answer the question of if they find out I'm lying, will they then just hunt me down? Is that how they op operate? But, yeah. Why meet them then? Because nothing truly important can be achieved in this city without their consent. They could be powerful allies in this current situation. <laughs> I have my doubts, but sure. Who are they? Really? They are the embodiment of vampire law in Britain. Some say they influence the destiny of the Empire. Some believe they merely protect it. Okay, will they fight them? Will they fight the guard of Prewell? I doubt it. Fergal was Lord Redgrave's executioner forever and a day. By defeating that beast, you deprived them of a powerful weapon. He attacked me. What am I supposed to do? How many are they? Only oh, is that the point? Of powerful and deceitful immortals. All of them entangled in a sticky web of shadow cabinets, influencing trade. So are they gonna tell me, well, you because you killed our executioner, therefore you need to kill stuff for us. Ha 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 ha. They have done nothing but impede my investigation since I became known to them. Why would they want to see me now? I guess they now see you as Ascalon material. They must have found out what happened to your sister. Proof of the potent blood flowing through your veins. I'm not sure yeah. I can accept their invitation. I have seen their handiwork. How Fergal the Beast imposed the club's law. You have no choice, Jonathan. Even I would not openly defy Lord Redgrave, the chairman of the Ascalon Club. Right. How powerful is his reach? The Ascalon Club may be the most influential secret society in England. Not all its members are immortals, but they are all very powerful. They are not all immortals? How is that? The club is mainly comprised of political figures who seek the safety and expansion of the Empire. The most loyal are awarded immortality mm -hmm. any familiar or famous names as the richest most relentless british tycoon aloysius dawson is considered ideal ascalon material and has been watched for years i see
I I see bear uh, uh, at atted at 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 me when when like lol and she I I was like I got a Discord notification and I that that's super nice of you Queen to to put a clip on on the uh, on bear's cl clip stuff that's super nice of you to do th th thank you <laughs> oh damn. What can you tell me about Lord Redgrave? Who is he? Lord Redgrave is the founder and chairman of the Ascalon Club. Hmm. Most mortals know him as the Earl of Bristol. He is rich and extremely influential. How old? How old is he? How long has he been a vampire? Lord Redgrave claims to be the progeny of William Marshall, the most valiant knight who ever lived. If that is true, he could be very old. Hmm. Have you met him? Only on rare occasions, for he never goes outside the club. And women are not awarded membership, even immortals. Right. If you are convinced I must meet him, I will heed your advice. Thank you, Jonathan. I understand your reluctance to brush shoulders with London's vampire elite. But we have no choice. Is the situation that critical? Yes. The Guard of Prewen has called for a second great hunt of our kind. And they will stop at nothing to eliminate us. Okay, what's a great hunt? What is a great hunt? The first great hunt was launched about 75 years ago. In just a few nights, the Guard of Prewen located and destroyed most of the old British vampires. Okay, how did you? How did you survive the first hunt? I fled, Jonathan. Like most vampires who survived that slaughter. And I secretly came back when I was sure they had lost my trail. Hmm. Why start a second one? To Pre kill vampires, I've always I... seen us immortals as a threat to mankind. My guess is they suspect one or more of us is the cause of the epidemic. See, something about undead blood probably has a root in something, but that be I couldn't really guess beyond that yet. Will the guard of Prewen and the Ascalon Club fight each other? I doubt it. If Prewen really launched a great hunt, I think most of the Ekons I know would flee the country to escape the bloodbath. Okay. I think I saw them kill an Ekon on the way to your house. They seem to have a list with names. To launch another great hunt, they must have collected intelligence on vampire identities and whereabouts. They are a resourceful lot. Oh, so the lady was staked by the Priven and then carried away by the... Oh, I thought the vampire killed a lady with a stake and carried the body... Oh, I see. I must have blinked. <laughs> Oops. Should we fight back? I will not be hunted down like an animal again. I admire your courage, Jonathan. I'm always hunted down like an animal. way to fight them... Is to put an a hacksaw in their face, yes. This is the only way to clear the air. <laughs> that's how I fight them. I clear the air by putting a hacksaw in their face. That's that's how I've been doing just fine up until this point. <laughs> again, like it's I've again in the terms of this like what we're doing here, right? It's it doesn't like the the guard of Preven, they will hunt us all down and kill all of us and it'll be very bad and we will all die. I'm not saying they're not capable, but I have killed like a couple of hundred of them already just by like waltzing on the streets. Like it doesn't fit the, you know. <laughs> and I'm the newest vampire there is. Like I'm about as young as it gets. Like I'm about five days old as a vampire, I think at this point or six. Like, shy of a week, and I'm just like do, doing the hack hack solves to the face, and I'm I'm fine. I are, are you sure you're not like overstating the issue here? You should flee then, leave London, the country even. I have seen the guard in action. 
They are merciless. Go to Finland. They like they don't care if you're pale there. But fear not. It's normal. If the situation gets too dangerous, I shall retreat to my secret Scottish manor. I could hide you in my luggage, if you wish. Thank you for the offer. I shall keep it in mind, but I have much to do here. There is a question hmm. I must ask you. Could Lord Redgrave be my maker? I doubt it. If Lord Redgrave had made you his progeny, he would not have seemed so surprised when you demonstrated the strength of your lineage. Hmm. Will I ever discover the identity of my maker? Maybe not, Jonathan. We know for sure you were made by a powerful vampire, but most of those fled England long ago. And you're still sure it wasn't you. I mean, I've asked this before, but, you know, whatever. Please forgive my bluntness, but I have to ask. I already asked before and you should know. Was it you? Did you make me? Oh, Jonathan. I know you shall always have a gnawing doubt about who made you an immortal. But I swear, I had nothing to do with it. You have no idea at all? You seem to know so many things about the secrets of the vampire underworld. Even if I had my suspicions, I would not dare give you a name so soon. All I can say is this. I will make inquiries and keep you informed. Does any of them wear a helmet with like, like antler horns? Basically like... <laughs> or, or like a, like, you know, just like straight up horns into the... <laughs> That, that, does, does, does that narrow it down for you? What is the plan? The plan is we both try to save this city, you and I. Go to Ascalon, accept their proposition, and use their influence to promote your agenda. Right. How can I save How London? How can I save London? The epidemic is the priority. You must find its origin and put an end to it. This is the best way to solve the crisis. Mm -hmm. I see. What will you do? I still have contacts and old friends in this town. I shall make some inquiries and attempt to learn more of the situation. We need clarity. Mm -hmm. One day soon, I will have to find the answer to this mystery. And I shall help you in your research, I promise. For now, you must go to the Ascalon Club and play their game. Will I see you again? Chess? Hospital? No. Checkers? You'll find me here if you need me. Quent? I shall conduct inquiries alone, and we can then share our discoveries. Cool. When will we meet again? As soon as you meet Lord Redgrave, I suppose. Fear not, my dear. I shall only be a heart's beat away. Is it the heartbeat of a human you're currently biting? Because that sounds like the... Will you not visit Pembroke again? No. I must remain discreet and avoid attracting attention to Pembroke Hospital for the time being. Mm -hmm. But how will you sustain yourself? I shall not, Jonathan. Fear not. I'm used to it. Have you tried rats? Have, I've, I've eaten like a hundred rats. They're great. Om nom nom, rat burger. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you for all your support and your help. Could you do me a last great favor and call me Elizabeth? I should be honored, my lady. Then it is settled. Finally, some good news in these dark hours. Thank you. I appreciate the advice. I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave now. How thrilling to meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh, so to speak. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. Yes, I gather. I see. As long as they deny access to mm. female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Jonathan, promise me you'll be careful. Of course. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. Mm. I am. I mean, really look at me, young Ekon.
We may be deceptive by nature, but this heart of mine has always told the truth. Elizabeth. We've known each other for like six days. Just, just, I... Go, my friend. But come back just, to me just soon. Just easy steps, yeah? Just, just like, just small steps in front of the other. Mm -hmm. Cool. I mean, she's, she, she seems like a nice lady, and she has, she has pretty eyes, as Queen Nin mentioned, but, but like, it's, 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 it's small steps, yes? Right. Loading. Cool. That is a low poly door. Hmm. Okay. Uh, right. Gonna head out. Now, sister is awake, so time to do things and stuff. Have a wonderful rest of your stream and day. And you have a have a have a have a have a, have a wonderful uh, uh, rest of your day as well. I, I I was about to give an example of the poor grammar writing, but I suppose it can wait. <laughs> but yeah, I actually do uh, need 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 to take a take a bathroom break as as well. So uh, I could absolutely uh, do that now and uh, uh, call the YouTube recording. But I'll still keep on streaming though. But if you're watching this on YouTube, please do drop a like or a comment or even subscribe or share if you want to, if you enjoyed this, because it would truly, truly help. And thank you so much for watching. Hopefully see you again next time.